Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a get ready with me. Are we excited? Are we excited? We are excited today. Let's go! Good morning everyone, or rather afternoon. It is 3.28 in the afternoon and I have just washed my face after lunch. I'm about to get ready. Um, I don't know what I'm getting ready for because the government has just announced that we are back into phase 2 heightened alert, which means no dining out, no going out as much as possible. It's basically a kind of a lockdown. And so I'm not really going anywhere, but I thought that today I would just do a short little get ready with me and show you how I do things. Nobody asks for this, nobody needs it. I'm just trying to cope with staring at myself in the mirror and not really doing much else at home. So I haven't really chatted to um, people who are following me in a while and you may not really know what's going on in my life. So a little TLDR for people who don't know me and haven't been talking to me in a while is that I um, have withdrawn from NTU and I will be starting university at the University of Oxford. So maybe I'll do a full video on this like another day if people are really interested. But basically what happened is that I've had an offer from Oxford since a year ago. I had it before even getting into NTU. And the reason why I didn't go was because I couldn't get a scholarship that year and I couldn't fund uh, my overseas education that way. So I took kind of a gap year, I started at NTU. It was a really great time and I really love NTU, but I think it's time for me to pursue uh, the original dream and that's why I am still going to go on to Oxford this year. So I'll be leaving in October and I've started packing. So basically what I'm doing is a toner first. I feel like such a beauty blogger. I feel like I should almost do this with all the products I'm using. <laughs> like the obnoxious beauty vlogger that I am. Okay, then the next thing I'm using is this serum. I think by now, if you've watched some of my other videos, you would have a brief idea of how I get ready every day and the products that I use. Because I've literally been using these same products for the past year. Anyway, so those are my life plans. And to be very honest, it's been a long time coming. So I think I'm just looking forward to what the future has in store for me. This is a Mamonde moisturizer. And oh, the moisturizer just like came out. I'm feeling a little bit lethargic today because I got my second jab of the vaccine, the COVID-19 vaccine only yesterday. And oh, oh, and so I've been a bit tired, and I think today I have a little bit of um, a fever actually, and the area around my eyes and nose is feeling a little bit dry, so I'm just going to put a little bit more moisturizer around there. This probably isn't the most flattering angle, and also you can see all my clothes that are just hanging there, but um authenticity. Anyway, so the eye cream that I currently use is this snail repair eye cream from Mizan. I buy a lot of the stuff that I use off Shopee or Lazada because that's where it's the least expensive and also I can get pretty good deals there from time to time. Um, I'm pretty sure there are people who have better deals than me so if you do know where I can get um, eye creams that are good or just products in general, let me know. That's my skincare done. Um, I'm gonna wait for a little while for my skincare to absorb and then I'm gonna start on my makeup which usually only takes me 15 minutes or less. I have done a full face in around 6 minutes before including eyeliner so I'm quite um, positive about being able to do it all within like 10 minutes. Okay. So it's time to start on the makeup and I put my hair up in this little pusheen hairband so that my hair doesn't come out. So um, I'm using this Becca Zero foundation as a primer. I'm gonna do a video later on about um, I think products that are being discontinued and why I think they're being discontinued. Like not because I'm a beauty expert or anything but just because I find that that's pretty interesting. 
but anyway um, I use it as a primer now because since I already bought it and I spent money on it I might as well use it even though I disagree that this should be used as foundation because it has no pigment in it but anyway so basically what I do is I rub it into my pores I'm probably gonna speed this up for you guys and this should really take like this entire routine should take like 10 minutes or less in total so after I do my primer I like to go in with my foundation so I use this very clunky looking The Ordinary Serum Foundation and I use 2.0N so what I like to do is I drop out a little bit onto my hand mine's almost gone I've been using the same brand of foundation and same like what do we call this the same product for probably about three four years now i've been using it since i was 16 because it's so cheap and it's so readily available you can buy it off like any major cosmetics distributor like it's probably on shopee it's probably on lazada i think one major reason why my makeup routine takes such a short time is because my makeup application really isn't that good so what i'm about to do is going to horrify some people but literally what i do is I just go in with my hands like I know for some people this is going to be like a huge no-no but that's just how I do it and usually it makes the foundation pretty even so I don't like to do too much because I don't really need that much so I use a few different concealers um hold on so, um, I currently use two different concealers. So I use the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Concealer, which I think is really good. And I also use the Australis Bye Bye Blemish Concealer in Warm. So I use the Australis one for the under eye area. And then I kind of use a mix of the Wet n Wild one for the rest of my skin. So I use that and I mix it with the Australis one to get my actual skin tone because this is actually too orange for me. I think I just couldn't get um, my shade when I bought it. And then um, by the time I found out that it was the wrong shade because we couldn't try shades on in stores, couldn't return it. So I tried to just like mix it. So that's for concealer. And I kind of use a lipstick as a cream blush. So this lipstick, which is kind of looking a little bit crusty and busty, is ColourPop's uh, Disney Princess Lipstick in Ariel. So it's kind of like a nudie pink shade. And I do this in the same step as blending my concealer. And what I do is I just kind of like put it in a triangle around this area. And I kind of just draw two little triangles and try to make sure that they match on my face. Okay, then I take this little blender and then I... Dab, dab, dab. So there isn't really any method that I use or anything like that. I'm probably a horrible beauty guru if I can't even count as one. I feel like all those people who have such crazy makeup technique, who like know exactly which brush to use, and all of that must be screaming their hits off at me now. Especially because I use my hands for foundation. But that's just what works best for me and it helps me get my makeup done in a really short time. So, so right now, I'm looking a little bit like a clown, but that's okay because um, it'll, it'll work out later. So I'm just gonna take my setting spray and I'm gonna spray myself. Okay, so now that I'm full of setting spray, I'm just gonna dab, dab, dab. One extra step that I like to do that kind of helps the whole look come together is while like there's still setting spray on my face i take my um what's this called it's a chanel brow palette and i just do my brows really quickly while there's still setting spray on my face so that my brows can set i don't think that this makes any sense to like people who actually know how beauty works but um this is how i do it and it's been working well for me so far i don't really use brow pencils Unless I need to do my brows on the go. Yeah. And then while my lips are still like, they've got a little bit of setting spray on them, I'm just gonna put a bit of lipstick. We can, we can, you know, line them later, but this is what I do while there's still like setting spray on my lips. Oh, I forgot to do the 
the Beauty Guru um, product. So this is the Tarte lipstick and it's called Salt Life. It's a color slash lipstick. It's kind of like nudie. When I went to the store and bought it, there was another one that was exactly the same color and it was called like Set Sail or something. And I remember being so confused, like asking the girl at Sephora, what's the difference between uh, Salt Life and Set Sail? And she was like, uh, I don't know, Google the swatches. And I was literally so confused, but I just picked the one that sounded cooler, which was Salt Life with a with a F Y E yeah L F Y E isn't that cool I'm such a cool girl okay anyway so now we're gonna go on to do the eyes so my brushes aren't the best I got these two free from Miniso after I signed up for a membership there and that was free too by the way so just for you to know <clears throat> so I use this palette all the time it's called the Tartus Pro palette been using it since I was 16. That's four years. So what I usually do is that I take my foundation powder, which is this slightly crusty looking Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and I use it to set my eyes. So that is to say, I just use a very neutral skin color for my base eye color. It's not too hard, just like pick up some of the brush and stick it onto your eye and then after you're done with that step you just open the palette pick a slightly darker shade or whatever you feel like wearing in the day i don't know why i keep saying you when what i really mean is this is what i do please don't follow me um yeah so i'm gonna pick um a shimmery shade today i think i'm going to pick um this one here called Ming. I don't know if you can tell, but it's this one. This one right here. I'm gonna pick it up with this angled brush, also from Mini So. And I'm gonna put it at the corner of my eye here. I can't I can't really see what I'm doing, to be very honest. So I'm just gonna put it all over my lid because even though that wasn't my initial intention, that seems like where we're going to. And then to finish off the look, because I am literally that basic, I'm gonna do my eyeliner. So, this is where it gets messy. For people who haven't done their eyeliner before, I think this is the most difficult step, I think. Okay, I'm looking kind of like a clown right now, but trust the process, it'll look better when I'm done with everything. So I don't really know how to explain it, but I think um, eyeliner shapes. Okay, I can't talk and do my eyeliner at the same time, it makes me blink. So I'm not going to. Okay, um, it's not even, so I'm gonna go back and kind of redo that. Let's give me... A minute. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm done with my eyeliner, I think. So what I'm gonna do is take this little um dew drops, dew drops from Marc Jacob, and I'm gonna rub them on two clean fingers, although they don't look very clean at the moment. So you just need a tiny little bit. It just goes a very long way. So just dot them in the middle. And usually I would do this at the concealer blending stage but I conveniently forgot about it this time so we're just gonna do it belatedly and what that does is it just gives a little bit of a glow to the under eye area hi guys it's editing faith from the future here so as I was editing the video I noticed that m the lighting doesn't really um, hide the texture on my face at all and so like even when i'm applying makeup and concealer and all that you can totally see the texture of my skin like the blemishes on my face and i just really wanted to say that yeah you know it's not the best lighting for that i didn't try to hide it um but it's normal it's natural my skin texture isn't amazing um but i'm working on it and um even if i wasn't i think it's fine so yeah so that's it. Oh wait, wait. Mascara, I forgot about that. So the mascara that I use is traditionally a little bit expensive. And I bought it off Carazel, which is a Singaporean um, secondhand app. It allows you to buy stuff secondhand, but I got this brand new for about 20 bucks, so that's great. So this is actually the Longcomb Hypnose Waterproof Mascara. And it honestly is the best mascara I've ever used which makes me think that it's quite worth it for the price. But then again, I could never justify to myself buying this mascara at full price. After this tube runs out, I'm probably gonna stop buying it unless I see it on sale. And then what I do, even though the real beauty gurus are probably taking 
their heads at me at this point is I curl it after I put on the mascara because if you curl it and then put the mascara on sometimes the mascara application for me makes the lashes droop but I like to curl it after and not before the mascara application that's it so I don't know if you can tell but this is my full look yeah I don't really know if there's anything else I should be doing should I do like a funky outro? Okay, I think that's enough. Um, I have come to the end of this video. I don't really know why I filmed it in the first place, but I hope that it was entertaining, that whoever watched it enjoyed it. And um, if you have any questions to ask me about life, about where I'm headed, feel free to let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye! The things I do at home, just staring at myself in my own camera. I'm not self-absorbed. I'm not. I just don't really have anything better to do.